I like to stop by the J5 Create booth at CES every year because they have a lot of products for the typical Mac user, not maybe the big snazzy stuff that blows your blows you away, the big TVs, but the stuff you can actually use. So they're known for their docks and hubs, and we're going to talk about some of those, but they do so many products, we don't have time for them all. But Khalees Philip Van Phillips is here with me who's going to take us through these products. Hi, my name is Khalees. I'm going to show you around some of our newer products that are for iPhone specifically, but you can use them as well for Android or different things like that. Uh, currently we have some of our docking stations. We do specialize in docking stations. These ones are made specifically for your phone. So they have wireless charging built into it and they use MagSafe right on the back there. And you just plug it into the bottom so it works great with the new iPhone 15s that just came out, as well as any other Androids or phones that have USB-C. Oh. So I'm also going to rem uh, tell you something I didn't tell you is this is also an audio only podcast. Oh. Some people are on video, but you did a great job of describing what that was. Is it's a it's a pack that goes on the back. Now that's not a battery, correct? It is not a battery. No. But it looks like a small, thin, square battery that's uh, stuck with MagSafe on the back, plugged in through USB-C. But I tested it. It's also still MagSafe after that, so you can stick it to a mount or whatever you have. Exactly. Exactly. All we right. do have our batteries available as well, which I would suggest to check out. But we have some other products over here, which are docks too. I'm actually going to add one more thing. So when she said it was a dock, it's got USB-C on each side. And uh, one side says 10 gigabits per second power in, and the other side says 10 gigabits per second power in on both sides. All right, where we go next, Galise? Uh, so we have a few things right here. Let's say we have another option where you can put your SD card right here because, you know, we run out of space. My iPhone's out of space currently, and I have, like, the second biggest gigabyte. But we have this option right here where you can actually put in uh, a USB-C, two USB-Cs, as well as one USB-A, and uh, use your computer connected to this as well. So this is the same kind of design. It's the little square block that pops on the back with MagSafe, plugs into the USB-C. Exactly, cool. exactly. Then moving down here, we have some of our other options. You have this little pack, which is um, it's really smaller than the one that has MagSafe on the back that we talked about earlier. It has USB power in as well as SD card. This is for when you need and space. And microSD. And microSD, yes. This is when you need space on the go, different things like that. This is more like a keychain device that you just pop on the bottom. That is, that is tiny. That's just like stick of gum kind of size device. Definitely. Very cute, very cute, okay. Um, moving on, we have different things like that, which also has the SD, but I'm going to reach over a little bit and show you one. So this looks like a desk mount we're looking at here. Yes, so it, it does look like a desk mount. It's a tiny little docking station that we have specifically for your phone. We also have a version that comes for your Nintendo Switch as well. It has on one side a USB-C port as well as USB-A. On the back side, you have an HDMI port as well as audio and another USB-C USB power in port. And then on the left side, you have a SD and micro SD port. And then on the front, you have your little um, cap that you can put over the USB-C plug that plugs directly into your phone, as well as a switch on the top that you can use. So she just popped it closed where it was a mount originally, a stand to sit on your desk, but a full a full hub. That is that is a very, very slick design. I think that's my favorite thing so far. Yes, I uh, love it so we can connect anything to our devices, as well as just have it sitting there so it's not in the way, too. Yes. Very good. Charging your phone, doing all that. Yes, definitely. Wow. Um, that is mostly most of our products, but I'll show you one more just to get it out there. Um, we actually have, one second, kind of um, another version of the one we talked about earlier that was a very tiny one. This one you just pop on the bottom of your phone. Uh, it's about the same width of the iPhone uh, bottom part. And then you have your micro SD, SD, as well as two uh, USB-C plugs. So one is power in and one is USB 5 gigabits per second. Yes. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Quite a smattering. I'm going to do what I didn't say I was going to do. You guys have the newest. I'm pointing over. What is that? What is that over there? We have the newest Thunderbolt 5 dock. We hired with Intel just to make this dock. So it's one of the fastest docks that we have uh, currently to date. Uh, it's more modern. It's future proof as well because it's backwards compatible. So let's say you have a Thunderbolt 4 at the moment. You can just upgrade to the Thunderbolt 5 dock, but it will still work with your USB 4. Uh, 
Thunderbolt 4. Very good, very good. I didn't even know Thunderbolt 5 was out. Look at me. Thank you so much. So if people wanted to find J5 Create, where would they go? I would suggest going to J5Create.com as well as your major retailers such as Walmart, Best Buy, Staples, etc. And by the way, I'm looking at uh, boom arms for uh, for displays. I can see keyboards. There's lots and lots of docks. There's cameras. Uh, you basically only need to shop at J5 Create is what I'm thinking. Basically, anything that makes your work life easier at home or in the office. Very good. Thank you very much.